Hi guys, today I will give you some tips on foiling lures and we're starting right now. Now if you're new to the channel then don't forget to click like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on lure painting as well as tutorials for beginners. Alright guys, let's begin. This is our magical product right here. This is just regular aluminium foil, you can find this anywhere. Now you can use kitchen foil as well, but it has no adhesive so then you need to use glue or something. With the tape, of course you have uh, an adhesive already on there, so it makes it a lot easier. So to begin with, I'm just gonna roll out a piece. And I'm going to draw a line around our lure for how big the tape the tape should be. Now I always tend to do it. Um, you you can also go right beneath the lure if you can see that, right beneath the lure if you want. But then it's it's it gets really tight and then you might not cover the whole lure. So just to be sure, I always like take a little extra as you guys can see, take it quite wide. Now I just connect these points, doesn't have to be exact. There we got our first first piece. That easy, that simple of a shape. Now we're gonna cut it out. You can also use a knife and trace it, but I find it easier with just regular scissors. Nothing special. Super easy. Now to to make it even more easy instead of drawing around the other side of your lure you can also just do the mirror image of the the, the tape you already cut out so I turn it around silver side up it doesn't have to be perfect We'll be covering our mistakes with pain afterwards anyway. I once heard a man say, a professional is someone who just can hide his mistakes better than a beginner. And it does, it does make sense actually, because we all make, mis we all make mistakes all the time. Not by any way I would call myself a professional. To the side. Alright, so we got our stencil. Now we have to make sure we take the correct sides. Yep, as you can see it's a little crooked here and it's a little crooked there on the lure. Let's make sure it's totally clean. Now the good thing about these blanks is you can just take the lip off or you, you get it separate so makes it a lot easier to foil them. And now you can choose, you can just put this foil on or you can put some texture in it. So I got this simple netting, it's uh, got like a little circular scale pattern to it if you use your imagination. And if we place on our foil with the silver side up, and then I use an eraser. You can also use a silicone roller or anything, just something that you can use pressure with, and that will fold around the stencil. Yeah. 
and I just press down the eraser onto my foil. Super simple. Make it a little irregular because I like that. Another great tip about irregular irregularity is there are no mistakes in irregularity, but if you're trying to do something very regular and symmetric, then it's easy to to see the mistakes. So I hide my mistakes sometimes with just irregularity. Alright, let's put the foil on. gonna curl up it always does and just try to place it how you would like it on there as you can see it's a little off no worries, you can always redo it. And then work from the inside towards the outside. And where you did do the texture, you go a little bit more careful with putting pressure on it because you will press away a little bit of the texture. Of course, if you notice, if you have too much or something that's in the way, just use a tiny scissor. fingernail to scrape up the little pieces that is one side foiled I don't want any overlapping
because that's more difficult to hide because it will be sticking out from the rest. Now if you got some like bits and cracks that stick out they're not really a problem you can I will show you how you can rid of get rid of those now to get all these streaks and veins out I use the back of the scissors it's a little bit round you can also use anything else like a, a pencil a pen something round something that's not gonna scratch the surface but it's gonna like polish these things out you can also take a pen for example this is something that everybody is lying around now you will always see the biggest ones you will see a little but once you paint them they're barely visible or they become part of, of your your pattern of your your fish part of your art looking good and to remove the eye I always take my scissors or something else that's small and sharp and pointy and just poke some holes all the way around the eye and then basically you can Now I have this blank as well, nice big crankbait. Now let's say if we if we don't want foil on the gill plates and the head, I already cut out my uh, little pieces of foil, foil like we always do. You can also see. It. I have to double check that I have the right part in my hands. Align it with the tail and then you feel with your thumb where the gill plate is and you just press that gill plate in there like so. As you can see, I have an imprint of my gill plate. Super easy. Take our scissors. And we cut that out. Now we have a perfectly fitting foil that connects to the gill plate. So yeah, as you can see guys, a little bit of aluminium foil, it totally changes the look of your bait. Now this one has, uh, the blank uh, has a little bit of structure underneath as well. So you can also take your eraser and as you can see, I am now Putting the structure again that was originally on the lure as well as the, the central line where are some stripes Not down that go down at least There we go guys, now there is some structure again in, in the aluminium foil as well, as well as a, 
the central line or a lateral line. Now another great thing is you can do the gill plate separately as well. We take our little piece of foil. Just pressing the gill plate. That is our gill plate. And as you can see, that fits really nicely. Now you can also put some texture in your gill plate as well. You can have it really even, or you can take another stencil that you like, whatever you prefer. And I move it around a little bit on this stencil. get this cool irregular structure in there like so now if you're gonna paint this then it's really gonna shine through you. You cover this anyway with an opaque so you won't be seeing any of the, of the parts where there's no foil. Just experiment a little and if you're not happy with it no problem you just can you can just pull it off again so you can try over and over and over again there's no no waste. Okay guys last but not least if you have a flat surface on the lure you can polish it up and get a totally different result. Here is before and here is after. As you can see it's almost like a chrome look. It's The difference is insane and I will show you how you can do this. Now you can only do this on flat surfaces because we will be polishing this up with metal polish which is most often uh, wax based and you don't want any wax residue left on the foil because then your paint will not adhere at all. This is already a huge difference. As you can see the reflection is amazing. It's almost like a chrome now. Now this cloth was a heavy grit polish. Now we'll take a finer one. Look at this. Amazing difference. Now to finish it off. As you can see guys, the reflection is almost perfect, it's amazing. Now the most important step, clean it off, is just regular cloth, nothing on it. There we go guys, can you see the difference? I'm sure you can. There's a little secret, and also when you paint it, with transparent paints or candies it's a huge difference it's next level this thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something and i will see you next time bye bye